disaster. I didn't even make it through the qualifiers. How'd you do? Uh, I didn't do any better. I was beaten by that little Timmy kid. I've only ever seen him out there feeding pigeons. No clue how he got to be such a good card player. The next round's starting soon, right? Let's head over and watch the matches. I'm curious to see who'll win the grand prize. Did you hear that? A grand prize? Sounds like they were talking about a card competition. They must be talking about Genius Invocation TCG. Should be, but let's go ask Diona for details. Wait, what? <gasps> Am I seeing double? Do you have two tails? Your eyes are working just fine. Yes, I have two tails. You want to pet them? Wow! Um, does it hurt when your tail splits into two? Which one did you grow first? Oh, and what do you do when they start moving around while you're asleep? Oh, well, uh... Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry if those were tricky questions. I've just never seen anyone with two tails before. Who's Diana chatting with? Hmm. From her outfit, Paima would guess she's probably from Inazuma. <laughs> oh, don't worry, kid. I'm sure you'll be growing a couple of tails of your own in no time. Huh? You think I can grow two tails as well? Sure. You're a yokai too, right? Your yokai power must be really strong if you can already take on human form. I was just climbing a tree one day when another tail popped out, just like that. People started calling me, uh, um, um uh, Nekomata, I think? Yokai? Nekomata? Uh, no, 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 no. You got it all wrong. My ears and tail are part of my cat's line bloodline. Oh, so you're not a Mondstadt yokai? Mondstadt doesn't have anything like yokai. Is this your first time here? Yep. Fortunately for me, the company I work for has been expanding, so I'm now getting the opportunity to travel to cities all over to that. Oh, it's been such a pleasure chatting with you that I almost lost track of time. I'd better get going, or I'll be late for my next customer. Diona of the Ketzline clan, your pickup is complete. Thank you for choosing Komania Express. Great, feel free to come hang out anytime. Hmm. Do only yokai have tails in Inazuma? Hey, Diona! Hmm? Oh, Traveler and Paimon! Hey, what brings you back to Mondstadt? Well, we figured it's been a while since we visited the cat's tail, so we thought we'd come and say hi! Oh, and by the way, who was that just now? Oh, she's a courier from Komania Express. They're an international delivery service operating out of Inazuma. Huh? Is the cat's tail doing international business now? No, 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 no. A customer left some goods with us and arranged for Komania Express to pick them up. <laughs> That's all. I didn't mind. You've been to Inazuma, right? Did you, um, see lots of yokai like her there? Right! But this is actually the first time we've ever seen one with two tails! Whoa! I'd love to go see for myself one day! Huh. Anyway, what were you two here for again? Did you need me for something? Oh, yeah! Paimon almost forgot. Do you know anything about a Genius Invocation TCG tournament? Apparently there's prizes and stuff. A tournament? Oh, you must mean the one being organized by the Adventurers Guild. It's a pretty big event. They even had posters imported from Inazuma. But I'm busy with things here, so uh, I didn't sign up. I don't know all the details. Uh, maybe try asking my boss. Got it. 
Well, with any luck, we'll win some more, and then we'll treat you to some yummy food. Huh, what do you mean, luck? I'm the one who taught you how to play, after all. That's meow like it. Okay, you two should probably get going now. Head to the Fountain Plaza. My boss usually takes a walk around there at this time of day. All right, we'll go there right away. Hey, Margaret. We thought we might find you here. Oh, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. It's been a while, hasn't it? Let me guess. Back to play some cards? Uh, it's not like we only ever come back to Mondstadt to play cards. Oh, really? I just assumed you were here to take part in the King of Invocations Grand Prix. King of Invocations Grand Prix? Oh, that must be the Adventurers Guild one that Diana mentioned! Mm-hmm, that's the one. Genius Invocation TCG has been attracting more and more players lately. The Adventurers Guild arranged for venues in every city to hold a regional tournament for the King of Invocations Grand Prix. The rewards are quite substantial. Mondstadt is already at the final stage, so I'm afraid you might be a little too late to get that prize. Really? Oh, darn! We already promised Diana we treated to some food with the Moro we won! It's all right. There's bound to be a next time. This card game came out of nowhere and has already taken the world by storm. Who knows where it'll go next? The game's creators must be ecstatic with all this success, don't you think? It's unbelievably popular. Yeah, and it only gets more fun the more people there are to play it with. Well, you may have missed the boat on the official event, but there's also an unofficial tourney organized by some players. Would that interest you at all? Unofficial tourney? That's right. With all the excitement surrounding the main tournament, players can hardly contain their enthusiasm. So they've set up an unofficial tourney aimed at a larger player base. You can sign up at any time and play however many matches you want. They even have pre-built decks for players to use. Oh, and the rewards are pretty generous too. Ooh, Pana likes the sound of this. Thanks for the info, Margaret. We'll go check it out. You're welcome. There are plenty of booths at the venue offering food and other fun activities, so it's definitely worth a visit. Who knows? You might even bump into some old friends there. <laughs> right. If there's nothing else you needed, I'll be continuing my walk now. <sighs> Paimon still thinks that with your abilities, winning the grand prize in the official tournament would have been as easy as pie! Just imagine it! Honorary Knight defeats foes and emerges as tournament champion! The headline practically writes itself. Hmm? Do my ears deceive me? Or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Whoa! Uh, who, who are you? And why the heck are you eavesdropping on us? Oh, sorry. Force of habit. I tend to keep my ears peeled at all times. Didn't even realize I was listening in. Let me introduce myself. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird from Fontaine. I've been posted here to cover the King of Invocations Grand Prix. The Steambird? The Steambird is a major news outlet headquartered in Fontaine and widely acclaimed all over Tevat. We even have regular columnists based right here in Mondstadt. Ooh, okay. Paimon's name is Paimon and this is the Traveler. What was that you were saying about some breaking news? Oh, looks like I've managed to pique your interest. Well, the truth is that my keen reporting senses are telling me that this competition will be chock full of huge news stories. Huge news stories? You sure your senses are reliable? Absolutely! After all, I've seen it with my own eyes. There's a criminal who's been slinking around the competition venue, and his name is... The Card Snatcher. Card Snatcher? Mm-hmm. He stole his opponent's cards when they weren't looking. I was about to try and chase him down, but the next moment, he disappeared into thin air. But why would someone want to steal other people's cards? 
<laughs> Whatever the truth of the matter, it's my job as a journalist to dig up all the gory details and turn them into my very own exclusive news piece. So, what do you think? Want to join me in my quest to uncover the sensational story that's hiding behind the scenes? Hmm, that does sound interesting. But why us? Any reason you singled us out in particular? Are you kidding me? It's a no-brainer, considering you're the honorary knight who saved Mondstadt. The hero of Liyue who fought alongside the Adepti. A key player in the repealing of Inazuma Sokoku Decree. And the redeemer of the Sumeru Academia. Okay, okay, point taken. Yeah, it seems like we've ended up making quite a big name for ourselves, huh? Yeah, kinda scary. Does she research all her new friends before meeting them for the first time? I promise you, teaming up with me will be a great move for you. For starters, when my exclusive news article is published, you'll be credited as contributors. Not to mention that being in a news agency makes me pretty well connected. That'll come in real handy if you're ever traveling in Fontaine. And if you ever wanted to run an ad in the paper one day, no problem. I could make that happen. That actually sounds genuinely useful. What do you think, Traveler? Great! Then welcome to the news crew! Ah, I've heard that the Traveler always lends a helping hand, so it's nice to know that you live up to your reputation, but even nicer to experience it for myself. Now then, before we start investigating our card snatcher, I have one other small task to take care of first. That Mondstadt columnist who I mentioned earlier is a longtime favorite of the Steambird's readership. Management thought that a cash bonus was in order, so I brought it along with me. Oh, so we're gonna go meet them now? Yep, I have the address right here. We just need to make a slight detour to drop off the Mora, then we'll be on our way. <laughs> I thought you would have figured out who it is I'm talking about by now. From what I've heard, you're quite well acquainted. Oh, it's someone we know? Mm, that doesn't narrow it down much. We know lots of people in Mondstadt. <sighs> Never mind, just lead the way, Charlotte. Hmm. Who could it be? One of your rich friends, I'd assume. After all, you gotta be pretty well off to live in the city, right? Uh, that still doesn't really narrow it down. We know lots of people with lots of mora. Wow, I guess being a national hero earns you friends in high places. Here we are. Wait here a moment. I'll go hand over the cash. Huh? Oh, so it's... Who is it? Can I help you? Oh, Traveler and Paimon, what brings you here? And... I'm sorry, I don't believe we've... You must be Mona Magistus, the astrologist. It's an honor to finally meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter from the Steambird. Your columns have been so well received by our readers lately that our management asked me to present you with this cash bonus. She got Mona's full name and title right on her first try. She really does do her homework. Ah, you must be Charlotte. Welcome, welcome. Please, just call me Mona. Gosh, this is a long way to come from Fontaine. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. No trouble at all. It was on the way. Wow, sounds like your articles are a real hit with readers all over to that, Mona. Hmm. Have I never told you? Well, I've been writing my column All Things Astrological for the Steambird for a long time now. The chief editor wrote to me a while ago about the bonus. Thank goodness it's finally here. I was wondering when it would arrive. Thank you, Charlotte. Huh, you make it sound like you really needed this. Are you pressed for money, Mona? What? No, of course not. It's just that 
Once I knew the bonus was coming, I reallocated some funds that I'd previously set aside for daily necessities and purchased some expensive equipment. That's all. <laughs> Classic Mona. Aha! Uh -huh, perfect! Renowned astrologist broke and starving. Do the stars really have all the answers? <laughs> the article practically writes itself. Oh, I beg your pardon? Uh, Mona's actually super rich. It's just that astrology research is really expensive. Super rich is a bit of a stretch. Uh, anyway, enough about that. What brings you back to Mondstadt this time, Traveler and Paimon? Originally, we just came to catch up with a friend of ours. But some things have come up, and now we're helping Charlotte investigate the case of the Card Snatcher. Speaking of which, will you be competing in the King of Invocations Grand Prix? Where it is that the prizes are pretty... stellar. I'm much too busy with my research these days to dedicate time to a competition. Besides, even if I did enter, there's no guarantee I'd actually win a prize, is there? Isn't there? I'd have thought you'd be certain to win with astrology on your side. You'd know all of your opponent's cards ahead of time. What do you take me for? No self-respecting astrologist would dream of abusing their beloved art for such crude purposes. Besides, it wouldn't be fair to the other contestants. Well said. Spoken like an accomplished academic and a conscientious citizen. Well, yes, obviously. Anyway, if past precedent is anything to go by, you're the ones who ought to be wary of what's around the corner. Especially if you're chasing after this card snatcher, was it? Sounds like bad news. Shall I take a glance at what you're up against? Thanks for the offer, but there's no need. Relying on your astrological skills for all the juicy details would make this story a Mona exclusive. But that's not quite the kind of exclusive report I'm going for here. But don't you worry. They call it investigative journalism for a reason. We journos have our ways. All right, well, best of luck with your investigation then. Thanks again for bringing the bonus, Charlotte. Do give my regards to the chief editor. I will, and yes, we should. I'll hold you to that. I think it's about time we started heading to the competition venue. The Mondstadt Regional Final should be starting shortly. All right! Paimon can't wait to find out who the finalists are! Well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon, what a rare surprise. Did you really come all this way just to watch Timmy and me in the final? Kaya? You made it to the finals? Wait, what about your work with the Knights of Valonius? You better not be slacking off again. Hey, come on now. That's no way to talk to a friend. Naturally, I wouldn't have considered entering the competition were I not already on top of my work. Ah, enjoying a drink while playing a few rounds of cards. I can't think of a better way to relax outside of work, can you? Oh, just be sure not to tell Diona I said that. Well, since you're in the competition, have you noticed anything suspicious going on so far? You know, like people stealing other players' cards and that kind of thing. Stealing cards, you say? I'm afraid I haven't seen anything of that sort. Not while I've been playing, anyway. Why do you ask? Well, we just ran into this journalist from Fontaine, and she... Huh? Where'd Charlotte go? She was right here, wasn't she? Oh, I'm a bet she snuck out to go find some tainted snacks for herself! Journalist from Fontaine? Oh, you mean the one from the Steambird? 
I do recall seeing a Steambird reporter listed in the Knights of Favonius visitor log. Yeah, that'll be her. She said that she saw a card snatcher at the tournament venue, so we're helping her investigate. A card snatcher? Hmm. How very interesting. But one question, Paimon. Are you sure that cards are really what this snatcher is after? Huh? What makes you say that? Hello, everyone! Your attention, please! The final is about to begin! Now, let's give a warm welcome to our two contestants! Guess we'll have to leave it there. Let's continue this conversation another time. Thanks, Traveler. Go get him, Kaya! We'll see you in a bit! So, Traveler, who do you think is gonna win? Yeah, Timmy seems to be a pretty strong TCG player. Either way, whoever wins is bound to make headlines. Wait, speaking of headlines, isn't that Charlotte's job? Huh, maybe she got caught up trying out all the delicious Mondstadt snacks. Let's go look for her. I sure hope Timmy wins the finals. At least then I could say I lost to the champion. I understand where you're coming from, but don't get your hopes up. It's gonna be tough for him to beat the cavalry captain. You've got this, Captain Kaya. The Knights of Favonius are counting on you. Everyone's quite fired up. Whew. It's even making me a little nervous. I'm bringing my A-game today, and I'm gonna win this thing! while you were catching up with your friend. But Kaya's one of the finalists. Don't you want to interview him or something? You did say you were supposed to be covering the competition. Eh, I could churn out that kind of soft news piece in five minutes if I had to. Personally, I'm more interested in those two. From the moment things kicked off, they've been acting very strangely, like they're trying to stay out of sight. I'm sure they must be plotting something. Hmm? Oh, you mean there are two card snatchers? Shh, keep your voice down. We don't want to scare them off. We need to wait until we've got something concrete. Then we can use my camera to catch them in the act. Huh? You, wait, where'd the other guy go? He's on the run! After him! You seem like you've done this before. Do you spy on people often? <laughs> oh, you're too kind. You should see the celebrities in Fontaine, the lengths they'll go to to try and avoid the public eye. Compared to that, this is nothing. That wasn't supposed to be a compliment. He's heading toward Mondstadt's side gate. Let's follow him, but quietly. We mustn't let him spot us. Now he's heading away from the city! How long are we gonna follow him for? Oh, at this rate, we're gonna miss Kaya and Timmy's match! 
Looks like he stopped. Let's sit tight and see what happens. Why'd he come all the way out here? Is he gonna hide something? And now he's crouching down with his hands above his head. <gasps> Wait! Treasure hoarders! He's in trouble! Quick! We need to rescue him! Help! Someone save me! One of the treasure hoarders doing the close to the city! I didn't factor this in. <laughs> Quietly now. Fire hazard! <laughs> Are you alright? Oh, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I thought it was all over for me. Those treasure hoarders! Did you know them? It sure looked like they were here just for you. Why would I know them? Uh, I was just... Uh, out for a walk. Minding my own business, and then the next thing I knew, I was surrounded. Oh, really? Then why did they target you? It wouldn't be because of some dubious deal you were involved in at the tournament, would it? Huh? A deal? I, uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's a shame. You see, I'm a journalist, and I just happened to snap a picture of you and one other individual in the middle of a deal back at the tournament. I was only going to ask you for an interview, but that was before you caused all this trouble. And now you're feigning ignorance of the deal in question! Hmm, maybe I'm just wasting my time. Shall I just cut my losses and hand over the evidence to the Knights of Favonius? Whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, please! I, I'll, I'll, I'll talk! But you gotta believe me, there's nothing shady going on, I swear! Wow, that was some serious bluffing on Charlotte's part. She didn't take any pictures at all! Back at the tournament, I, I was approached by some random guy who said that he wanted to buy a card back off me. I said, okay, how much are you offering? And when he told me the amount, well, my jaw practically hit the floor. Really? What kind of card back was it? Uh, nothing special. I just picked it up at the general goods store. Uh, it, it had a treasure chest design on it. I only bought it because it was dirt cheap. This guy offered me three times what I paid for it and handed me the mora right then and there. I could hardly believe my luck. So I, uh, I decided to head somewhere less crowded and check the mora was real. That's when I ran into the treasure hoarders. Did you ask him why he wanted to purchase this item from you? No, I didn't. Genius Invocation TCG has been getting pretty popular lately, and some people will pay good mora to make their decks look flashy. It didn't strike me as that unusual. But after I gave him the card back, he let out a sigh of relief and said something about, uh, that's all the Mondstadt ones. Next stop, Liyue, or something like that. Or something like that? He either said that or he didn't. How certain are you? I'm positive. I I know what I heard. Once the card was in his hands, he suddenly relaxed like a huge burden had been taken off his shoulders. It was genuine relief. Could, could that card back really be as valuable as he thought? That I don't know. But in the interests of your personal safety, I suggest you report all of this to the Knights of Favonius. After all, you weren't doing anything against the law, were you? Uh, right, yeah, no, that makes sense. I'll go speak to the Knights of Favonius right away. It sounds like that guy's just collecting rare card bags. Are you sure this is the person you're after, Charlotte? Well, it definitely doesn't add up. You really think someone out there is going from nation to nation, shelling out huge sums of money for a few card bags bought from a grocery store? My gut tells me that there's more to this story than the card back alone. <laughs> this entire situation reeks of exclusive news! Ooh, you mean someone like Albedo? Hmm. That would explain why only some people understand the true value. Who knows? But wherever this leads, we're definitely onto something. 
Even though I didn't manage to get a good look at his face, his physique and the way he moved were identical to the card snatcher I saw last time. I'm sure it's the same guy. He was much more discreet this time, though. I guess he didn't want to risk trying anything with so many potential witnesses around. From the sounds of it, we need to head to Leela next, right? Paimon can't wait! We have tons of friends in Leela, too! But shouldn't we check in with Kaya before we leave? Paimon at least wants to find out who won the final. Good idea! Let's go! I hereby declare the winner of the Mondstadt Regional Final of the King of Invocations Grand Prix is... Timmy! Wow! Timmy won! That's amazing! <sighs> I was beaten by the best. Timmy's a tough opponent. He had me on the back foot the entire time. <laughs> it's all right. You don't need to comfort me. This must be the journalist from Fontaine you mentioned earlier. Charlotte, was it? Enchanté. I'm Kaya, cavalry captain of the Knights of Favonius. I trust you're enjoying your time in Mondstadt? The pleasure is all mine. Mondstadt's reputation as the city of song and freedom is truly deserved. The mood here is simply delightful. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking it. Oh, by the way, I couldn't help but notice you all rushing towards the city's side gate earlier. Did you find something? I couldn't get it off my mind, even during the competition. Hmm, I see. So, it seems we have an answer to Kaya's question from earlier. What the card snatcher's really after is these card backs. But we still haven't figured out why he cares so much about them. Hmm. Well, while I'd love to accompany you all to Liyue Harbor, I'm afraid I still have my Knights of Favonius duties to attend to. In fact, our top priority right now is strengthening Mondstadt's defenses. Treasure hoarder activity has been increasingly rampant lately. Don't worry, we'll keep you in the loop if we find anything. In fact, if Charlotte's journalistic instinct is on point, you'll probably be reading her exclusive report in the Steambird before long. Wonderful. Then I look forward to reading all about it. <laughs> Thanks for supporting quality journalism. Okay, let's take tonight off and head to Liyue Harbor tomorrow. It'll give me a chance to write down everything that's happened today. Oh, I'm I wanted to ask. See the two people on this poster? Are they the inventors of Genius Invocation TCG? They look so young. Maybe, but very little is known about either of them. Whether they've been living under a rock this whole time, or just aren't interested in fame, I don't know. But hardly anybody has ever seen them. The poster's probably just an artist's impression to capture the general look and feel of the duo. Beyond that, I doubt it's very true to life. Sounds like they're a couple of socially reclusive scholars. If Paimon were in their shoes, she'd be showing up to all the events, signing autographs, selling cards, and probably getting complimentary food and drink! <laughs> I approve. And to top it off, you could play a few rounds of Genius Invocation with everyone. I was reading up on the game's inventors before I came to Mondstadt. I was originally hoping to arrange an interview with them. But I soon discovered that there's no mention anywhere of where they live or of any Genius Invocation events that they've attended. It's as if they've designed the game and then never played it again. Either they don't want to play the game, or they're unable to. But they must have their reasons. I wonder if they'll show up at all during the King of Invocation's Grand Prix. Maybe, if you get lucky. And based on my experience, the Traveler seems to have no shortage of that. Oh, really? 
Well, that gives me one less thing to worry about. Anyway, our focus is still on tracking down the card snatcher. I heard Snezhnaya has an old saying. If you try chasing two rabbits at once, you'll only end up empty-handed. Well, the Traveler and Paimon can always split up and chase one rabbit each. Oh, okay. Now Paimon's feeling hungry. We can worry about all this later. Right now it's time to get some grub. <laughs> you can always trust Paimon to know where life's priorities lie. If it's food you're after, I recommend taking a look at the nearby stalls. The tournament has brought quite a crowd, so there's a lot of fun to be had around the venue. Sounds great! Thanks, Kaya! saves face for the knights, but lacks a little oomph. Top strategic mind of the Knights of Favonius outsmarted by Bridge Boy in five-round failure. Captain's championship hopes crushed in dazzling Dark Horse defeat? <sighs> Maybe I should stick with my first draft. Wait, why is everyone leaving? Did I miss it? Ah, Mika. Uh, not too bad you weren't here to see it. I'm afraid that Captain Kaya lost. Wh what? T tell me everything. What happened? Well, I don't know much about Genius Invocation myself, but I did try to follow along by listening in to what everyone was saying. Captain Kaya took out one of Timmy's character cards right at the start, giving him an early advantage. But I guess that was all part of his opponent's strategy? In any case, Timmy spent the first few rounds stocking up cards in his hand and then swung the game with a brutal offensive right at the end. <sighs> but, you know, maybe the match was already over from the moment they flipped the coin and determined that Kaya would go second. <sighs> I need a drink. Calm down, bro. Now's not the time to start drinking your sorrows away. Knowing Captain Kaya, he wouldn't want to see you upset over his loss. Hey, why don't we learn how to play too? Maybe then we'll get to play against Captain Kaya someday. <laughs> Though, I'm sure we'd lose pretty badly to him. <sighs> yeah, you're right, Mika. Not a bad plan. you wanted to discuss? The game's really caught on lately. It's a part of everyday life now. Everywhere you go, you see people playing it. In fact, some people have even given up drinking in order to keep a clear head during the game. <laughs> I'm sure Diona will be happy to hear that. Don't worry, everyone's just fine. I actually managed to convince Jean to join me for a game, but we only got part of the way through before she was called away. I ended up having to finish the match for the two of us. Ah, <sighs> what can you do? Everyone has to put their work first. But, seeing how successful the tournament has turned out and how much fun everyone's had, I'm hoping that she at least has one less thing to worry about. Sure. We should have a game of Genius Invocation TCG when you get the chance. Tell my mom. This'll make her really happy, won't it? 
Mom was the one who kept telling me I should join the tournament, so I'm gonna give the prizes to her. I really wish my dad could see me now. Oh, what an amazing tournament. That Timmy, huh? He really has a gift for this. Yeah, who saw that coming? But at least I can feel a little better about losing to him now.